We all know this pandemic has been stressful, and right now there is a lot of uncertainty. But as adults, uh, we're not the only one dealing with all of this. Kids are going through a lot of changes too. This Mom Minute Monday, we went to the experts at the Cleveland Clinic Children's, and I talked to Dr. Emily Mudd about how to effectively manage tantrums. We've all had a tough few months with the pandemic. And when it comes to our kids, they may not have the verbiage to express how they're really feeling. As moms, how do we deal with that? When dealing with tantrums, there, there are really three things that parents need to do. The first thing is they need to do is acknowledge the emotion the child is having. So let them know, it looks like you're feeling sad. We can't go to the park right now. And then the next time your child has a big emotion, they're more likely to remember the verbiage that you gave them to manage it. Step two is to just wait. So, you know, your, your job as a parent is to, you know, be the thermometer in the room, not the temperature. So you don't want, if your child is having a big emotion, you don't also want to be having a big emotion. So during this period where you're waiting, that is the important thing to do. After we acknowledge and we wait, then we engage with our child. So we want to turn to the yes, so give them options of things they can do. So you're sad that we can't go to the park right now. Would you like to play with your Legos or help me in the kitchen? And have your child choose the next one and shift the yes to end the tantrum. So remember that one word, awe. So that's A-W-E. Acknowledge, wait, and engage. Dr. Mudd says this approach works uh, whether you're dealing with a toddler or a teenager. So structure and boundaries are important. So once you lay out your expectations, make sure you stick to them because Maureen, I tell you, consistency is key. Absolutely, and it's been tough. And I've, I've said it right from the start, the one in my household that had the toughest time with quarantine and not being able to do what, what she wanted to do was the baby, the one who turned 18 months when all of this started. Mm -hmm. And, and so it's just been really rough on parents and, and hopefully that advice helps. Danielle, thank you so much.